So in part two, about halfway through the video, I talked about Dr. Barry Fell, who documented an ancient system of schools that were found in North America. This ancient system of schools are dated to be roughly 1500 years old. These school systems that were set up were teaching navigation, geography, and mathematics, and so forth. But more importantly, the language used for instruction was North African Kufic script. He also called them the Druids, the Vikings, and the Phoenicians, and he documented that the tribes known as the Iroquans, Aloquins, Anasazi, Hohokams, and the Almec people were all of the same bloodline. And we know that their territory not only included North America, but the Almecs were in South America for thousands of years. Then we have the evidence presented by Aaron Abraham showing the Almec heads in Canada. So we can respectively say that this black race, known by many names such as the Vikings, the Celts, the Druids, the Phoenicians, the Sumerians, and so forth, this black race was in South America, North America, and Canada. Which is no surprise, because all three land masses are connected together. They are essentially one body of land that has been divided into three parts, separated by borders. But in ancient times, this was one consecutive body of land. So there are countless Viking burial chambers found in Europe. And the Vikings would bury their dead with elaborate burials. And the elite would be buried with their ships. And we know who else buried their dead with ships the ancient Egyptians. So now I want to show you some artifacts from Europe that were found within Viking burial chambers. This is a ring that was found in Sweden in a Viking burial chamber about a hundred years ago and it dates to the 9th century so this is about 1100 years old. And this ring is important because number one it belongs to a Viking and number two the inscription on the ring is written in ancient North African Kufic. So the Vikings spoke the same language that was used by the black people inhabiting North America, Canada, and Mexico 1500 years ago as documented by Dr. Barry Fell. And the two most important words inscribed on this ring is Allah and Ali. So this is another artifact from another site in Sweden and it's a bracelet and these artifacts have been kept in storage for a hundred years since they've been discovered and the bracelet like the ring is inscribed with the name Allah. So the Vikings have the word Allah embroidered into funeral clothing, jewelry, and so forth. And this discovery left the white scholars confused because they of course like much of the ignorant world believed that the Vikings were white. So they were surprised when they saw the veneration to Allah along with the DNA analysis of the human remains that revealed that the Vikings were from Persia, Northeast Africa. And this is a Celtic artifact found in Ireland. And these Celtic artifacts are also known as Latene style. And this is a Celtic artifact found in Ireland, and it's called the Staffordshire Moorland Pan. And this dates to the second century AD, so 1800 years ago. So we can see that this is a Celtic artifact, but it is also called the Moorland Pan, connecting the Moors and the Celtics. So this is also another Latine style Celtic artifact from Europe. And it's much older than the Moorland Pan. It's from 480 BC, so that's 2,500 years old. And it's an important item because it's called a torque. And the torque is undoubtedly a Persian artifact. This is a torque from Persia that's 4,000 years old. And this is a 2,000 year old torque from a Celtic territory in Europe. So now getting back to the ancient Kufic script. 
The Kufic script originates in Iraq in a city called Kufa. It's a branch of the Nabataean language that originated in Petra, Jordan, the Sinai Peninsula, including the land of Israel. And the Nabataean language comes from its mother language, which is the Egyptian language. There are different forms of the Kufic language, and most religious documents dating from the 7th to the 10th century were all written in Kufic. So we have the Kufic script, and we have what's called geometric Kufic, or geometric Kufic is also called square Kufic. So the Kufic script was used for religious documents and military documents, as well as everyday teaching and instruction. The geometric or the square Kufic was used in religious buildings and funeral rites. And you can find geometric Kufic in nearly all Muslim mosques around the world. Here are a few examples. Another part of the Kufic language that undoubtedly connects it to the ancient Egyptians is the fact that the language used no vowels, just like the Egyptian language. Something else that you'll notice about the Kufic language is that it's the same language used in barcode. And barcode is used to keep track of all goods involved in trade around the world. So this ancient language is still relevant today. And this is what's called a Kufi cap. The Kufi cap is worn by black people in various parts of Africa, Asia, and in America. In America, the Kufi cap is known as a daishiki. And here we have a Nazca woman of South America wearing her Kufi cap in 800 AD. And the Nazca people of South America are just another branch of the Mayans. So we have the ancient people of South America wearing their Kufi caps and the Vikings of Europe speaking the Kufic language. And we can clearly see by the inscription on this ring that they worshiped Allah so they were Muslims. And we know that the same Kufic speaking Allah worshiping Muslims were living in North America with a whole system of schools set up. Now this is an important artifact especially for people who believe that Christianity and the white Jesus came before Islam. Because even the Christian Bible tells us that the origins of Islam are much older than Christianity. So the beginning of Islam is mentioned in the Bible with King Darius, who makes a decree. Now the word God is a broad term used in the Bible to describe any God, just like the term dog is used to describe any dog. But we know there are multiple types of dogs. So the word God in the Bible is used for multiple gods in the Bible, so you have to look at the definition of the word God in each verse. So King Darius makes a decree to worship a God, and this decree is made to all people in every dominion of his kingdom, but who is this God? So if you use your strong concordance to see the definition of the word God used in this particular verse describing the decree that King Darius made, the word is number 426. And the number 426 means Allah. In fact, the word 421, 422, 423, and 426 all mean Allah. And there are multiple instances in the Bible where the word God is written in the Bible, but the definition for that word is actually Allah. So King Darius made a decree to worship Allah. And according to the Bible, Darius is called a Median and a Persian. But in fact, the real King Darius was an Egyptian. And Darius lived and ruled 2,600 years ago. So Darius, an Egyptian king, made a decree 2,600 years ago to worship Allah. And if you pay careful attention to the ancient Egyptian art left behind, you'll see the similarities between the ancient Egyptian worshipers of Allah 2,600 years ago and the modern-day Islamic population of the world. 
you can see that the way they worship, their posture, and their daily prayer rituals have still remained the same. Nevertheless, this proves that Islam is much older than Christianity, and it's also obvious that the practice of having multiple wives is a Muslim tradition still practiced to this day. And this particular custom, just like Islam and the worship of Allah, all began in Egypt. So the reason I'm explaining this is because Islam and the worship of Allah is the one thing that connects the ancient Egyptians, the Moors, the Vikings, and the Druids of Europe, the ancient black civilizations of South America, and the native tribes of North America, and so forth. The Kufic language and the worship of Allah are what bind all these black civilizations together. So in conclusion, we have evidence of Kufic speaking Muslims also known as the Vikings, who were buried in Europe. And we have evidence of the same Kufic-speaking Muslims in North America as documented by Dr. Barry Fell. And we also have evidence of the origins of Islam that can be found within the Christian Bible. And the worship of Allah, which simply means God, goes all the way back to the time of King Darius 2,600 years ago.